Hey Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you are new to the channel, a very warm welcome. Eesh. So it's going to be a love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If you find that it does, please remember to smash the thumbs button. It's a general love reading, okay? I ask a series of questions. We're going to jump straight into it. The first question I asked is, who is it that's thinking about y'all? Okay, it could be who you're thinking about. Now, e, the Seven of Swords energy. Still in a lot of you guys' energy, okay? Whoever is thinking about you, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. doesn't have to be. I feel like um, somebody can't be trusted here, right? Seven of Swords energy is betrayal, deceived energy, someone that only takes what they want, right? I feel like this Nine of Pentacles is your energy, Virgo. Like, I feel like some of you or the majority of you guys are single, you're very independent, okay? You're very well put together. You've got a very grateful heart, a grateful attitude, okay? <sighs> yeah, Seven of Swords, ugh, I just don't like it, okay? Some sort of wishy-washy player, selfish energy, betrayal, deceived, lies, all of that jazz. Now, for some of you guys, like, it could be a Taurus. We've got Taurus here. It doesn't have to be. It can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It can also be an Earth sign, Okay. I feel like um, for some of you guys, this was a new connection. When I say a new connection, anything a year and under, okay? Crying is what I get with the Ace of Cups as well. Like it feels quite overwhelming. Like this person may have overwhelmed you, okay? Made you cry, made you feel like, I don't know. It just, it feels very overwhelming, like intense, Okay, a lot of water, if you know what I'm saying, y'all. I feel like you guys have got good values. Someone could be married here, has been married. you got good values, Virgo. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to start again. You know, doing some healing here. So I, I wanted to clarify the Seven of Swords and why it was there. Now, the Hanging Man, it's here on the bottom of the deck in this deck. And it also came out in the Clarifier. Okay, so I feel like for some of you guys, there's no talking, not for everybody. Eight of Cups there shows me that, you know, someone got abandoned or at least walked away. The Seven of Swords energy. Some of you guys were dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But definitely this energy, Virgo, of someone that's quite stubborn, likes to wear the trousers. It keeps coming up. You know, someone that may have a little bit of a temper. Someone that can be quite controlling at times. Okay, and I feel like some of you guys are kind of, you know, you're in this energy and you're just like, oh, you're over it, you're bored, you're frustrated with this person, this seven of swords, you're frustrated with them. Okay, and I feel like in turn, they're frustrated as well. I feel like this person missed an opportunity with you. I feel like there's a lot of reflection here. Yeah, whether they demonstrate their reflective energy, I feel like this person is reflecting really on their behavior i also feel the need to say that you guys are going to be all right regardless of whatever bullshit this is because i feel like it's bullshit like i feel like some of you guys have been dealing with some crap here he wants virgo now i may be talking about multiple people i may i may talk about one person in particular only you would know so who wants you could be an aquarius that wants you this person that wants you probably uh, I feel like there's some sort of faith here. There's some sort of hope here. Nine of Wands energy. They feel like giving up, but still something lingers here. I'm picking up on a very guarded person as well. I feel like the person that wants you finds you to be quite talented. It's almost like you inspire them. Three of Pentacles wanting to come out. So a conversation for some of you guys. Not really liking the Magician card on the bottom of the deck there. Some of you guys could be dealing with Aquarius. I've said that already. Gemini, Virgo. Some of you guys could be or have been manipulated by this person. There's manifestation here. Like I feel someone is hopeful that you, you're going to have a conversation with them. There's some sort of cooperation here. I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, this could have been the person that you wanted. Six of Wands coming out in reverse. So I feel like... You you were in turn very hopeful about this person. Like, or at least you put a lot of faith into it. I feel like you've had your fair share of heartbreak. I feel like you try to cooperate with this person. Okay. I feel like a lot of Virgos here are very talented, very skilled in their own right. Yeah. You come across as somebody that is very talented here. I feel like um, this person didn't give you the TLC that you require, you desire. 
they made you doubt your worth okay and i feel like a lot of you guys there's a lot of self-care that needs to be implemented or is going to be implemented here self-love is the best love i feel like for some of you guys this person is not emotionally available you know with regards to the person that wants you or whoever it is that you, you want why is this nine of wands here why is the nine of wands here Three of Pentacles again, like I really feel like this is your energy, Virgo, where you're you're trying to cooperate, or at least you tried to cooperate, you try to be honest with the ace of swords here. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting your clarity here as well. Ten of Wands, like it just felt like this energy is heavy, Virgo. It all feels a bit heavy. Like this connection was struggling or is struggling. Yeah, you're trying to get some sort of clarity, some sort of truth here, some sort of honesty. You know, maybe have an honest conversation. I feel like the truth is too much for this person. Some people just don't know how to be truthful. They don't know how to speak their mind. It's like Virgo is like shouting out, just speak your mind. What's on your mind? Virgo would prefer the, the bit of truth than a sweet lie, you know? Who is it that truly loves Virgo? Who truly... Who truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? Please remember to smash the thumbs button, guys. It really does help me. Ten of Wands energy. Whoever truly loves you, they're struggling. Maybe they got a lot of responsibilities. I feel like they've got a lot on their shoulders. Wow, the Ace of Swords coming out again. So I feel like I'm picking up on one particular person with regards to the wanting now to the love. Whoever it truly loves you, I feel like in turn, there's some love there, like you hold this love, Virgo. We've got the Empress card. <laughs> Sometimes when we get the Empress card, I think of like baby mama drama, pregnancy. <sighs> I feel like this person that loves you is definitely attracted to your body. There's definitely a physical attraction. They like the way you smell, maybe the way that you carry yourself, Virgo. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like a lot of Virgos are... In that energy where you're respecting the truth. If it's not the truth, you don't want to know. I feel like this person that loves you finds you to be very successful, very loving, very nurturing. you got a lot on your shoulders, Virgo. Like, I feel that. I feel like there's a lot of energy here, like, where you've either got a lot of responsibilities. You hold a lot on your shoulders. And I feel like this person that loves you probably feels a bit shitty, about something here, if I'm being honest. Why is the Empress card here? Page of Wands. Yep, you're a big turn on for them. That you excite them. You're adventurous. Some of you are definitely either dealing with an Aries. The month of March or April may have some sort of significance here. They they may find you to be very independent. Oh, as I said, independent, codependent for some of you guys. There's disharmony. There has been disharmony in this connection. Miscommunication, a breakup. Some of you broke up with this person. Now, this person is definitely stubborn. This person is definitely borderline controlling got a bit of a temper likes to wear the trousers always on the go like they they never sit down for too long something unexpected happened in this connection you know i'm definitely picking up on that for some of you guys a lot of virgos are just trying to stabilize their self now save money ground their self all of that energy i feel like this has been a whirlwind for some of you guys i feel like somebody tried to Sweep you off your feet. Yep. Let's see what's coming towards Virgo in love. What's coming towards Virgo? What's coming towards Virgo in love? Wow. So an apology for some of you guys, not for everybody. Okay. I feel like um, there's a lot of magic. There's a lot of synchronicities happening for Virgo right now. Ten of Pentacles are going to be happening. Ten of Pentacles talks about long term. It talks about uh material success a happy a happy family life like stability financially i see things being very good here for you yeah someone may gift you may gift you mm. i see something passionate coming in but just be mindful virgo i don't know if this if this is a sincere connection 
I see some sort of adventure coming here with love. Could be with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. There could be an apology here, but I don't know how sincere that is. I feel like somebody is going to be gifting somebody here. Like, I got this for you. You can't buy love, right? <clears throat> so just be mindful of that as well. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? I feel like this person wants to apologize and in this apology we're going to get it's still secretive nature it still is very it still feels quite secretive some of you guys it could be a pisces some of you guys it could be a cancer um and i feel like there's an apology here where they'll say look i know i i didn't treat you right yeah i get this energy here where someone's going to, and it's not going to be for everybody, not every Virgo is going to get an apology to say, oh, I didn't treat you right. You know, for some of you guys though, I do see that here. And I do see a nice connection coming in here for some of you guys. There's the two of cups here, but we have the knight of wands behind it. I just don't know if it's anything more than a physical thing, you know, so just be mindful of that Virgo. But you know what? I'm going to leave it there. Please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonated with you in any way. Friggin' love you guys. Thank you for the continued support. You can book me for a personal, follow me on the socials and catch me for live tarot. But for now, Virgo, I'm out of here. Be kind to others as you always are. But most importantly, be kind to you, Virgo. It all starts with you. Catch you on the rebound. Mwah.